Today we'll have a look at one of the best built rapid trigger keyboards I've tested in recent months, the LuminKey Mugger 68 HE. This is an analog rapid trigger keyboard that delivers premium quality at a surprisingly affordable price. I also want to give a quick shout out to MacLens for sponsoring this video. They provided me with a review unit but allowed me to share my honest opinions. Let's start with the unboxing experience. The packaging is solid and does a great job of protecting the contents. Inside you'll find the keyboard itself which weighs in at almost 1.2 kilograms, giving it a hefty premium feel. You also get a high quality braided USB-C cable, a combined keycap and switch puller tool and one spare key switch. It's always nice to have an extra switch on hand in case one of the original wears out or fails. Moving on to build quality, the outer shell is made out of anodized aluminium and you can choose from three colors, champagne gold, black or white. I have the champagne gold version here and there aren't any blemishes or discoloration on the finish. Everything is held together securely with screws, which already shows great attention to detail. But what really stands out is how well designed the entire case is in terms of its angles, cutouts and overall ergonomics. The edges are smoothly machined and the USB-C port cutout is precisely placed, giving you just enough clearance to plug in your cable without feeling cramped. The subtle chamfers around the corners and the slightly angled top plate give the keyboard a sleek modern look while maintaining a comfortable typing posture. Every part of the design feels deliberate and refined, making the Mugger 68HE feel more like a premium custom keyboard rather than off-the-shelf product. Under the hood there's an aluminum switch plate, plate-mounted stabilizers, a silicone sandwich pad, a hot swappable PCB, a bottom silicone pad and a silicone feed. All of these components come together to create a satisfying typing feel and sound. In terms of dimensions, the keyboard is 319mm long, 110mm wide and has a front height of 16.5mm. The keycaps are mostly double shot PBT, while the accent keys use transparent plastic. Depending on which color variant you choose, you'll see different accent designs. The Champagne Gold version has an industrial vibe thanks to the additional imprints on certain keys. One standout feature of the Mugger 68 he is the dual chip design. It separates RGB processing from key scanning, so turning on RGB lighting doesn't affect overall performance. This keyboard also supports an 8K Hz polling rate, which is becoming more common in modern keyboards but still noteworthy in this price range. There are two main variants, the Performance Edition, which comes with Gatron Magnetic White Pro Switches, that's what I'm testing today, and the Professional Edition, which comes with Magnetic Jade Pro Switches and a slightly more elaborate case design. The keyboard supports hot swapping, so you can change out switches whenever you like, whether you want a different feel or need to replace a faulty switch. To check accuracy, I use a micrometer to measure stem movement precisely, with the default rapid trigger setting set to 1mm actuation and 0.1mm rapid trigger sensitivity, the Mugger 68 HE behaved exactly as advertised. There was no wobble or instability at the actuation point and the rapid trigger function worked flawlessly. Many budget rapid trigger keyboards fall short in this area, so it's nice to see that the Mugger 68 HE doesn't compromise on accuracy. Before I dive into the performance test, a quick reminder, if you're new here, consider subscribing, it really helps the channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your ongoing support. For my performance test, I use my standard setup, a Sony RX100 Mark 7 camera running at high frame rate, up to 1000 frames per second, so I can capture the exact moment the switch is released and compare it to when the action appears on my MSI 4K 240Hz OLED monitor. While this method includes overall system latency, it's still a great way to compare different keyboards under the same conditions. The Mugger 68 HE does really well. It's not the absolute fastest keyboard on the market, but it's competitive with the Wooting 80 HE, trailing by only about 4 milliseconds. That kind of difference is practically invisible during day-to-day -day use or gaming. In my test, the Mugger 68 HE clocked in at an average of 24.2 milliseconds, with a maximum of 30 milliseconds and a minimum of 18 milliseconds. I also did polling rate tests using Keyboard Inspector to see if the keyboard really does support 8K Hz polling rate, and it seems it does. The highest peak comes at exactly 8000 Hz. 
The included software is a standard desktop application that lets you remap keys, record macros, change RGB settings and fine-tune the actuation point or rapid trigger sensitivity. It also includes features like dynamic keystrokes, snap tap or SOCD, so you don't get any zero inputs when pressing opposite directions. That's especially handy for quick strafing in FPS games. The interface itself is decent, although I think it could benefit from a few improvements in user experience. So what's the verdict? There are cheaper rapid trigger keyboards out there, but they often sacrifice build quality and feel. The Mugger 68HE, on the other hand, offers a solid aluminum construction, hot swappable switches, high-end features and rapid trigger functionality, all for around $120. Compared to bigger brands like SteelSeries or Razer, this keyboard offers a more premium build and performance for the price. If you're looking for a keyboard that combines excellent build quality, top tier performance and a satisfying typing experience, the Lumen Key Mugger 68H is a great choice. I've provided links to Macland's store in the description if you want to grab one for yourself or explore their other keyboards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.